Today it's Tuesday, February 27, 2024. Yesterday night I received the cylinder head for the 2JZ. It looks like that they did a good job. It's not that bad like before. I didn't get any measurement, just feeling by finger. Yeah, some of them a little bit more up than other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, this it's pushing the, the lobe. But there is a small difference. Yeah, in any case. Uh, now, taking out the valves. <laughs> they haven't installed the valve springs. That's why it's like that. Taking out the valves, I have the valve springs, retainers, everything here. Putting the caps because it's been installed already. Remove the camshafts. I'm gonna like to touch the valves with the valve seats with a lap compound to see the pattern that's nice and that's feeling beautiful. Cleaning it and then putting it together. That's the plan. Stripping off. The comes of valves, caps, gears, everything. And coming here, the gentlemen, they have already lapped the valves and it looks beautiful. It looks amazing, all of them, nice. Less job for me, that's a good one. That's beautiful, let's wash everything and put it together. Thank you very much. <laughs> Removing the masking tape. It looks nice, looking good. Now, need to go for wash. I need to inspect every single thing because you see some aluminum savings. So it's important to be washed again. Obviously, all right? Where I'm pointing. Need to clean also this area here, the old gasket, inspect it, and then bring it back again inside. Let's do it. Cylinder head nice and washed, completely dry. All right, you can see the valve seat. Nice pattern. Same thing also for the intake. Looks beautiful. Now, let's clean the valves and start mounting it to the cylinder head. Cleaning the valves one by one, <coughs> putting it in place in order. You like the fingers? You also want a marker. <laughs> so we have exhaust 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, and the same thing also for the intake 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, nice. All right, now let's put a carton face down, put the valve seals, a little bit of oil, one drop of oil, valve springs, and the rest. Done with the cylinder head, valve springs, valves all back in place. Degree wheel. Let's find top dead center and then continue. Don't laugh, that's what I have, that's what I use, okay? <laughs> Two studs, couple of horses, nuts, the bracket, this is a stopper, all right? So I'm 40 degrees after top dead center and stop the piston there. If I go clockwise, you're gonna see that. It will gonna stop at 40 degrees before top dead center. Okay? So when I put it on zero, it will gonna be zero. Let me remove these things. Okay, bring it up at top dead center. Alright, to be zero. Just in case, because now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clean again the surface of the deck with the brake cleaner, putting the new head gasket, 
then mount the cylinder head. So just in case, if I move this one, the crankshaft I'm not gonna move it because I don't have anything, I don't have any tool on it, so it's gonna stay still. If by mistake move this here, this aluminum rod, I can put back again to zero, it's gonna be the zero. I'm not gonna move it, I'm just saying, it's extra safety. Uh, yeah, that's it. Brake cleaner, head gasket, let's put the cylinder head on. Let's have a look before I put the cylinder head. The rings are in place, the grooves are up, I'll inspect every single one of those, okay? Head gasket in place. Let's put the cylinder head, let's install it. Cylinder head in place, I came from this side, I passed my foot here, both hands, I was here, I was watching, first the front pin, then the rear pin, and I placed inside. And now it's the time for the studs. Some of you are gonna say, oh, that's how you're passing the studs. It's very simple, it's, it's simple. It's very, very simple. You just first put the washer, because if you don't put the washer, you don't have a space to do it. All right? Yeah, usually I have, uh, you put the washer in place there. All right, then you get your stud. I need to put some assembly grease on it, wait. Then you apply assembly grease, okay? And literally one drop of oil down. All right, one second. Getting the nut, two turns on the nut. You see how it becomes down? As soon as I'm gonna torque it, this grease, and even more than this grease, it's gonna end up to be on the washer. So it's not gonna be dry, it's not gonna be metal to metal contact, okay? Then you get the allen, it's here, by hand, driving it in, wait. Dang it, I wish to have a third hand. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And now with this way, it's very simple. You don't scratch the cylinder head, you don't create metallic savings, it doesn't fall on the head gasket. No, th that's what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. All right, you just put by hand, like what they're saying in the instructions. It might worth it. We're not gonna have the time to do it. It might, that's it, finish. Lovely. Now, as soon as I'm gonna torque it down, I'm not gonna, just by hand, I'm gonna do it just to show you the grease. I'm gonna, it's gonna spread out. You like the sound effect? <laughs> Is it a half inch? I think so. Now, in any case, one second. So, what I'm saying, I'm saying that as soon as I'm gonna torque it down, see how much grease plenty. You see how much came out? Beautiful, nice. No scratch, no nothing. Yay, let me do, let me repeat that again. All the washers in place. All right. Same thing here. Here I already put also this one by hand, all right? The previous one that I showed you. And here I have the rest. I want to prepare it and put it. Now, some people, I know, some people they're putting first the head gasket, then the studs, and then they're struggling to put the, head, the cylinder head in. Yeah, okay. There are some cases, I have mentioned that before, that you cannot do that. If you have a bottom stud, uh, the, if, it's, if you have a greater the, than the diameter of the cylinder head I'm talking about. Like the billet block, and I have said that years ago. But yeah, it is what it is. But most, mostly, you know, for them on 5.7, same thing. For the DAS over there, same thing. For them on 5.6, same thing. 113K, same thing. For the 2JZ on the cast iron block stock, same thing. It makes your life easier, if you're asking me at least. No. Some people, they want to make it a different way. Okay, this is how, what I'm doing, all right? Thank you, moving on. That's it from the cylinder head, torque down. I'm doing the same thing with the studs when I have to take out the cylinder head. I'm taking the studs from up here, and then I can nicely take out the cylinder head. Uh, the lifters. From here, washing it, cleaning it one by one. Here we have number one cylinder, A and B valve, intake, exhaust, and it's supposed to be written inside. You see? Yeah. All right. Washing it, assembly, grease, and putting it in place. Here. 
Almost done. Almost finished. I have degreed the cam shafts. Before I say anything, let's put this. On the intake cam shaft here, the gear, it sits retard position by two, four, six crank degrees. Retard by six crank degrees, okay? And the exhaust, uh, ge exhaust gear, exhaust cam shaft, it's advanced by two degrees, crank degrees, okay? Fine. Now, wait, now, now. This is how it was before. Intake valve opens at one millimeter lift, seven degrees before top dead center. They, this is with my tools, with my... Uh, I, 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 I check that before. Uh, yeah, okay, chalk. Yeah, never mind. So intake valve opens at one millimeter lift, seven degrees before top dead center. Now with these cam shafts, I make intake valve opens at one millimeter lift at 6.5 degrees before top dead center, okay? Then, the previous setup, it was an intake valve closes at one millimeter lift, one millimeter before it closed 58 degrees after bottom dead center. That means it's one millimeter lift. Okay, it's not fully closed, but 58 degrees, and then it's remaining the rest to compress inside and the fuel mixture. On this one, it's 61. That means you're targeting from high for higher RPMs. Okay, as less you are, let us say if you are one degree after bottom dead center, you're gonna end up to have the profile of a diesel that makes much more torque in lower RPMs than higher. And if you go, let us say, higher than, if you go 70 degrees, you're going to a street bike comes up for the intake I'm talking about. Then, exhaust valve opens 59 degrees before bottom dead center. That means it was keeping inside before, uh, 59 degrees before bottom dead center, that much the gases, all right? And then it's opening to start evacuating, to release the gases. On this setup, it's Exhaust valve opens at one millimeter lift, 58.5 degrees bottom dead center. And then it's closing nine degrees after top dead center. When this one's closing, closes the valve six and a half degrees after top dead center. Okay, identical, almost the same. All right. And yeah, the, the paper sheet for the specific cam shafts, if I degree it as, as supposed to be degree the cam shafts, we have a wheel spin and it's not good. It's not ideal. Not for this setup, all right? With th that's what says the paper sheet, and this is at 400 of an inch. This is 0 .0, 0 0.04 of an inch. Okay, this is one millimeter. It's 0 0.039 of an inch. Yeah, almost the same. Intake valve closes 56 degrees after bottom dead center. When now it's closing at 61, I shift it. Okay. It's, it's good. For a high revving engine, it's okay. It's going to be much better. You're not going to have a wheel spin. All right. Then, uh, exhaust valve opens 64 degrees before bottom dead center. Okay. It was opening earlier. Okay. Now, exhaust valve opens 58.5 before the bottom dead center. So, it keeps a little bit more the gas inside the combustion chamber. Uh, I hope to don't have any headache with the tune, to don't have any headache with the wheel spin and to be like the other cam shafts over there. I'm talking about this one. They are not straight, these cam shafts. It's not being grinded properly, if you're asking me at least. This is what I'm talking about. And one is bent. Yeah. One, the exhaust cam shaft is bent. Yeah. All right. So, that's the status. Let me put now the studs for the exhaust here. Close the covers up. Here, there is plenty of space inside. I'm talking about a valve to piston clearance. Plenty of space, even that we have reason phase the deck and the cylinder head. Yes. Uh, if I keep, let us say, when you reason phase the deck and you reason phase the cylinder head, or you use, you're using different cylinder head, the gears, if you keep it in, in the same order as it was before, let us say that I was using the same cams as before and I have the same. It's not going to be the same because we're going to change a little bit. You have to readjust it. Now, my target was to run... I know some people are not going to like what I did, but trust me, we're going to see on Saturday. If it survived the engine. <laughs> if it doesn't crack, because it has two minor cracks, I hope to stay there. It will going to seal definitely... For three runs, we're going to be fine. We're not going to use 2050 oil, we're going to use 10, 1040 and we're going to warm up a little bit the oil. So don't have any headache with the oil pump. Anything else? No. Let me dress it with a couple of things. Take a little bit of the tools. The diff. Take a look at the diff of the Porsche. I have it here since yesterday. Yeah, never mind. Let's continue. 
And that's it. Engine is done. Remaining only two things. Two things what's remaining. It's remaining. To double check the damper pulley bolt to torque it down properly. Okay. And to put the clutch back. That's it. Flywheel and clutch. I have it. The clutch I have it here. Over there with the flywheel. Alright. This. These are some old gaskets, the head gasket and the EGR. Alright, I already put the new one here, it's been torqued down, everything's been torqued down except the damper pulley bolt here, okay? And the, the flywheel and the clutch. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less, yeah. And see you again on Saturday, let's see how it's gonna be. Over and out. Thank you. Have a good night. I cannot go home now. It's a little... Yeah. <laughs> it's 9 o'clock. Okay. I have to continue with RS3. Yeah. Thank you. Over and out.